Welcome to Diggins Garden Tech. I'm Farmer Tyler. Today at the Grow House, we're checking out a simple hydroponic system. This system is called an ebb and flow, or a flood and drain system. It's called this because of the method by which water is delivered. A system like this can be built out of many repurposed materials, meaning that you probably already have many of these materials at home. So there are a few key essential features to this system. First, a reservoir at the bottom that's larger than your top tray. You want a pump that's powerful enough to move water from the bottom tray to the top, and a drainage pipe allowing water to exit. You want to make sure that your water going in is in a diameter slightly smaller than your drainage pipe. Generally, I like to use a quarter inch for input and a half inch for my drainage. Next, you set your drainage pipe to the height that you want your water to reach. Then, you want to build your fertilizer. To build your fertilizer, you can either pick a liquid or a powder. I like liquids because they're very easy to measure, but powders are also great. Generally, when you use a powder, though, you want to heat up your water to make sure it really fully dissolves. After building your fertilizer, based off the rates on the back of the, of the product, you want to correct the pH. To get your initial pH measurement, you can either use a pH kit where you'll compare the color based off of what the kit recommends, or you can use a digital meter. Digital meters are slightly more expensive, but they're very accurate, they last a long time, or they can last a long time. When adjusting pH, aim for a final range between 5.8 and 6.2. This will allow for the maximum availability of nutrients that are necessary for herbs and lettuce. So your fertilizer's built, your pH is corrected. Now you'll add an air stone to the system to help aerate your nutrients. A stagnant nutrient solution will not be as nutrient available to your plants. Next, you hook up your pump to a timer to set up periodic watering. Generally indoors, a system of this size will need watering for about 15 minutes every two hours. But you want to watch your plants, see if they look wilted, then you might need to increase the water. If they appear overly wet, and this will appear as fungus, then you might need to cut back the watering. What's great about a system like this is it can be scaled up. You can actually grow large fruiting crops, including tomatoes, peppers, and flowers in here. This has been Diggins Garden Tech. I'm Farmer Tyler. To take a class with me or other experts in your area, please follow the link. Keep looking for more great info from Farmer Tyler this season. Up next, we will introduce you to a man on a mission to serve refugees.